Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Still seeing some clouds out in the area with a little bit of sun, sunshine filtering through. Did see a, a couple showers push through the area this morning. Did bring some lightning. We did have to issue a lightning warning. Uh, that is continuing to clear out of the area. We do not currently have a lightning warning or advisory out at the moment as that shower is well off to the east and continuing to move out of the area. But uh, we'll see a lot of chances, some showers and storms as we get into the evening this evening. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, we have a uh, surface trough over the area, area of low pressure over the Great Lakes with a trailing cold front behind it. That's going to approach the region as we go through today today and into tomorrow out ahead of it we'll see some destabilizing conditions with the chance for again some convection to move through later this evening uh, storm prediction center does have this under a slight risk for severe weather so do have that chance of seeing a few embedded thunderstorms uh, being a bit on the stronger side with the main threat being uh, some stronger wind gusts with those storms if we look at the upper level winds from this morning's sounding we have winds out of the west southwest through the column and seen around 20 to 30 knots in the lowest 10,000 feet and 30 to 40 knots above 10,000 feet seeing our peak wind of 38 knots at 20,000 feet the freezing level today is around 13,300 feet if we take a look at the current local radar at the moment set things into motion see that shower that pushed through the area is now well off to the east and northeast and continue to track out of the area a little shower popping up up in the salisbury region uh, that should stay uh, well north of the area today we should get a break in the action if we look at the uh, current visible satellite we can see we'll see continued clouds moving through the area today but we will see periods of sun as well so just a mix of clouds and sun as we move through the day until we get to that convection later in the evening where we'll start to see things build up and become more cloudy. If you look at the uh, lightning at the moment, we can see lightning uh, well off to the northeast with that cell and continue to track out of the area. If we look at the short-term high-resolution model, see how things play out today. Again, as we go through the day, we should see uh, things quiet down going through much of the day today. And then as we get into the evening hours, particularly after the 1800 local hour uh, time frame, uh, we'll start to see some scattered convection get going out ahead of the front and then we'll see that start to push through the area as we go into the evening and overnight hours we should see that start to wrap up as we get towards three in the morning tuesday morning and then things remain dry could see some patchy mist around but things looking dry as we go through the day on tuesday but the front itself will actually slowly start to push through the area tuesday and along that we could see a few isolated to possibly some scattered showers pushing through for Tuesday afternoon, uh, more so into the late afternoon and into the evening hours. Could see that hold off till uh, sunset uh, on Tuesday and then uh, push through the area on Wednesday as that front starts to stall out over the area. And then going into the day on Wednesday, we'll zoom out and take a look at the European model here. As we go over the next uh, few days, we're keeping in that summer pattern where we could see uh, continued chances of afternoon conv convection and we'll see here uh, this is Wednesday afternoon we see a chance of some showers during the afternoon again this is mainly going to be the isolated pop-up showers along the sea breeze boundary or uh, just some afternoon uh, convection and then that quiets down as we go into the evening hours and once again we'll see model indicating some moisture there on Thursday afternoon and once again on Friday afternoon but as we get into late Friday and Saturday we have another upper level trough digging across the northern part of the country. That's going to bring a, a cold front through the area as we go through the day on Saturday, bringing us a chance of some showers and storms. As you see, the model showing some dry periods in there as well. So uh, we'll get a better feel on how uh, that system comes together as we get closer to the weekend. But it looks like our next best chance of seeing um, some scattered showers and storms other than the isolated afternoon pop-up shower. And then going into the end of the weekend, things look to dry out and get back into that kind of pop-up shower, summer-like uh, weather pattern. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, did have that yellow chance for precip and lightning through the morning hours this morning. Winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 knots, and then picking up a bit to around 9 to 14 knots. We'll see temperatures warming up to around 91 degrees this afternoon, so a warm day ahead of us today. Uh, likely be the warmest day of the week uh, so we do have that yellow chance for heat index at or above 100 as we will be approaching 100 degrees likely staying 
uh, one or two degrees just below 100. So just a yellow risk there uh, for the afternoon hours. And then as we go into the evening hours, we pick up that orange risk, risk for precip and lightning as we do have about a 50 to 60 percent chance of some showers and storms pushing through the area as we go into the evening hours then we should see that start to uh, taper down as we get into the early morning hours of Tuesday again we do have a slight risk for severe weather from the storm prediction center so uh, do have a chance of seeing an embedded stronger storm with those storms as they move through but the main threat is going to be uh, some stronger wind gusts with some of those stronger storms we'll see things cool down around 74 degrees as we go into Tuesday morning and the winds out of the southwest at 7 to 12 knots to start our day on Tuesday. Tides are running normal at the moment. Looking at our Tuesday, it looks to be partly cloudy, and then we'll have a slight chance of an isolated shower and thunderstorm mainly late, high of around 89 degrees. Green for our weather risk because we're ex expecting that chance of a uh, shower or storm to be uh, more so towards the evening hours as we get into this second time frame here for Tuesday evening. Uh, so we do pick up that yellow chance for precip and lightning. Uh, Tuesday night with a low around 74 degrees and as we go into Wednesday we'll see partly cloudy day uh, high around 87 degrees and then we had that slight chance of an afternoon pop-up shower or thunderstorm so just a yellow risk for precip and lightning for Wednesday uh, with an isolated pop-up shower. If we look into the extended forecast here we can see as we go through the remainder of the week uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for the first half of the week uh, dropping a couple degrees to mid 80s as we go into the end of the week and into the weekend we'll see temperatures staying in the low 70s for our evening lows uh, otherwise partly cloudy conditions mainly throughout the week but we do keep those uh, 15 to 20 percent chance of uh, pop-up showers for wednesday and thursday and then just a uh, slightly less of a chance as we go into friday but then going into saturday we pick up that chance of showers and thunderstorms with that boundary pushing through the area giving it a 30% chance at the moment, as some models show it. Uh, breaking up slightly, uh, but we'll get a better feel on that as it pushes through, as it is a somewhat weak boundary. And then going into Sunday, expecting uh, dry conditions at the moment uh, with partly cloudy conditions for Sunday. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again on Wednesday at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the 4th of July.